my buddy. I saved the uh, number seven. Yeah, last match I was in was uh. Oh, uh, I thought I was your buddy. Was. Damn it. Anybody who squats up to me and tries his best is my buddy. I just get frustrated because of new fever, which happens especially in a game like America's Army. America's Army? Driven Gross, a free to play game. Which is, yes, but you know, new fever. I don't know. Fever. I don't know that one. You sure? At my level, you, I mean, if, if you're not at my level, you're probably. That game. Yeah, I, that's because all the kids play it, and for some reason it's not popular, even though it's an extremely good tactical game. It's got its main issues other than that. Though. I keep talking about it here because of how it bothers me a lot. There's a game worse than PUBG? Yeah, Is that I what you're saying right now? Sort, sort of. I mean, PUBG's got some wacky business mechanics. Like how it makes you makes your soldier act 50%, you know, less you know, less uh freaking what what do you call it? Like you're not really trying sort of thing, percent more lazy because you're like you're doing left and right, right? But like you're doing lazily. And then you jump like fifty percent higher than a normal person, which means you can't jump and shoot. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. We live in a we need we live in a place where if you try to be the best you can be, that's great. But like you can't necessarily grow anymore because of weird, weird physics. So actually, you know what I was trying to say here. What I was trying to say. Here, you know, it's hard to say something. Try to be the best gun player. It's great to try your best and all that, but you're not gonna grow very much when you get games that get really glitchy and laggy for you know real stupid reasons. Or perhaps like in this game, for instance, it's not. It's based on realism, but you can't. You can't pull it like it, like it's a, it's a joke. It becomes a real real joke of a game. The more and more you look into the physics of the game, despite it being based on physics, you know, it being real. Yeah. yeah. I think Escape from Tarkov is going to be amazing, though. It's going to blow me out the water. But we'll see. Wow, uh, looks kind of, looks kind of boring, man. I can't really speak very much, it's only a console player, but perhaps I'm just talking being really, really, like, there's not a broad span, there's not a broad span of, like, gun games, so it's like, you live in the world where the gun games, you shoot people, you kill them, you get tactical, you get smart, the problem is, the gun games that are at your disposal to use are almost shit. Games like Fortnite. You got games like uh, what one did they do? It? Like, how am I supposed to name all of them? There's too many of them that are bad shit stupid with physics and how they play. And I'm especially talking about Fortnite. But that game's doing great, isn't it? Kind of makes you jealous. I'm just raging. What game? Especially, especially Fortnite. Yeah, I know, right? Like, there's games like Fortnite that are not Fortnite, but you know, they're 
basically blown away. Oh, you know that's that's all I got. To say. Okay. Just fuck, just fuck this guy. I wish I, I wish gamers like me were good at that. Six, I got him. Yeah, I got this guy too. that I was taking down most of them up top.